our newsroom producers are so good. Somehow we got this interview on the fly this morning. Uh, this story, you know, only in Florida. It's got a Philly twist, though, to it. What do you do when you find an alligator in your front yard and then it goes over to your driveway? Look what this guy did. So if you're brave enough, like this Philly dude, you scoop it up in the giant trash can. Now, this footage is from Orlando, Florida, but that's a Philly native doing the work there. He's an Army vet. His name is Eugene Bosey. And it corners it, gets it into the trash can. And listen to this, though. So I got the trash can, and I seen some things on TV. I knew that the door, if I kept the front of the trash can, he'll at least even go in or think that's like a mouth and retreat, which he kind of did. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, overwhelmed him and threw him inside and walked him down safely. That was it. That's an Army vet for you right there. So Eugene finally uh, gets it down to a nearby lake in the can and then releases it. You see it right there. So it all turned out pretty well. Nobody got hurt. I don't think. So we've heard from Eugene. We thought we should interview the alligator as well. And we did track down the gator. Now this is a Fox 29 exclusive. Uh, joining us on the phone. I'm sorry, I did not catch your name. That would be Al the alligator, Mike. Thanks for having me. Your name is Al. Absolutely, Al. Before we get to this, Mike, I have to say, when I was asked to be on the show, I did a little Google research like we all do to see who I'd be talking to. Yeah. And from what my research shows, you've now interviewed a traffic cone, a trash can, a visor, and a seagull, and now an alligator. Not exactly Mike Wallace now, are we? Oh, little snappy, are you, huh? Yeah, you get the hard hitting interviews. I find that I am a decent investigator. What happened to the two fine people that were sitting next to you? Made that move, so you got all the play in this one? Yeah, I said I'm going to do this exclusive interview because this is going to go viral. Oh, absolutely. You know yeah, what I'm saying? What, what's on your mind today, Mike? Well, I, uh, it's as snappy as you are, and um, I'm still going to ask about how are you feeling? How is your health? I'm great, Mike. Everyone's making it like he captured me. I was trying to get in that trash can. Once I heard he was from Philly, let's, let's be honest, let's look. All the stars want to get away from Philly. I don't want any part of being with Philly. Carson Wentz, Ben Simmons. He, I was, look, I'm jumping in that can. The guy helped me out. Get me as far away from anything Philly related as possible. That seems to be the thing you do these days. My goodness, you are, like I said, very snappy. So you know sports? Who doesn't know sports? I'm a Florida Gator. You know, Jen Fred, who we just had on the show, she went to Florida State. Have you ever heard about her? Oh, we've heard about her. Not heard about her. You hear her. You could be six college campuses <laughs> over. You hear that squeal. <laughs> God. So what was it like in the can itself? Dark I just knew I was getting away from Philly. I mean, he was doing me a favor. I know everybody's like, oh, he was fighting me. He wasn't. If I wanted to get away, I'm not dumb. I jumped in that. And then if you notice, when he dropped me off the lake, I don't go after him. I run as far as, as fast as I can to get away from him. So are you grateful to him? I'm just glad he did my work for me because I was going to, you know, I'm telling you, I'm now let's get, let's really talk about it though. It's Florida. It's swamps. It's Everglades. It's my home. You know, you guys are building on my home, but sometimes I have to make a choice. And if I have a choice between living with a nice Florida family or somebody from Philly who's going to boo me, I'm getting out of there. You know, you're kind of full of yourself, you know? You, you think that you crock everybody's world. Pot kettle. <laughs> All right, that's enough of you. Um, here's the thing. Are you, ha I mean, I think you should be thankful to this guy. You're not claustrophobic, are you? No, I, I was good, and I, I, I respect the man. He's an Army veteran, I believe I heard, so, you know, all due respect to the guy, but you know, he's got family members. They'll be coming down from Philly. I can't be around that. You know, I want to get back to back to my people. Yeah. By the way, now that you're famous, uh, could are you want to be hired for children's parties and stuff like that? Yeah, it's Halloween. If you want me to jump out and they'll think I'm a, you know, I'm a prop, but I'm a real thing and I'll take care of some neighbor that's bothering you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, do you work for scale? Absolutely, you know, <laughs> how many times you've heard that? It's every day, Mike. But, you know, this is, I've seen your show before. You, you Joke works once, you'll keep going back to it. Okay. okay good talking to you, Al. Anytime.